Okay, so now we have referred back to the topic sentence about why it was so hard. We have kind of brought things full circle. So there is the formula for the body paragraph. State, we stated our topic sentence. The first reason it was so hard is my age. We explained the topic sentence. In other words, you say the same thing but in different words. A 13-year-old doesn't know much and I was no exception. So you referred to uh, your age there. The support, this is where your memories come in. As a seventh grader, I was more worried about boys and acne than life or death. As a teen, I assumed everybody lived forever. I had no one close to me die before. So when my dad sat me down that day to tell me about his terminal cancer, I was devastated, confused, frightened, and full of love and tears that would not stop. There are our four support sentences. And then we conclude, we bring it all back to the topic sentence, the paragraph topic sentence, loss of a parent really hurts when you're 13. Okay, there's the formula. And you're going to use that formula, you're going to write three of those. Don't forget that. You are writing three body paragraphs. Formula for conclusion paragraph is restate the, set, restate the thesis excuse me, and tell why it is important. It is as simple as that. Okay, let's give it a shot. Conclusion paragraph can be very short as long as you wrap things up in a nice, neat, neat bundle and be sure to repeat your thesis and tell why it's important. As long as you do that, nobody's really going to notice that much how long it is. So the first thing we're going to do is to restate your thesis. So remember your thesis was seeing my dad die was the hardest thing I've, I've ever done. So you could begin something like, um, I am now a middle-aged uh, woman, no longer a teenager. However, my dad, during my 45 years, my dad's death is still the hardest thing I've done. So there you have restate, restated your thesis. Now you tell its importance. By having, by losing, I guess I should say, by losing a parent so young, both him and, and I, there is no doubt that I learned an emotional maturity. It'd be easier if we say there was no doubt that I matured emotionally, matured emotionally much faster than my peers. And there are the two parts of the thesis statement. <laughs> two parts of the conclusion, which is the first, the restatement of the thesis, and second, tell the importance of the thesis. So let's review what we have covered tonight. First, we have reviewed the formula for the five-paragraph essay, and that formula consists of the introduction paragraph, which ends with the thesis, at the end of it. Then the second part is the three body paragraphs. Each one of those body paragraphs begins with the main point that supports that thesis. Those are paragraphs two, three, and four. And then the last part of the five paragraph essay was the conclusion. Then we talked about how each one of those kinds of paragraphs, the introduction type, the body type and the conclusion type has its own way of doing it, its own template, its own formula. 
And then we just very simply uh, went over those formulas with me showing you how to use each one with your sample topic and your sample thesis. We went over a formula for the introduction paragraph, which is two to five sentences about anything. Really does not matter. Begin writing anywhere you wish, as long as you end with the thesis statement. We went over the formula for the body paragraph. And the formula for the body paragraph was Seth. <laughs> State, explain, support, conclude. That's the formula. And then we saw that formula in action. Uh, you would have to do two more of these to make a complete five-paragraph essay. But we did one of those where we stated our topic. The first reason it was so hard is my age. You explain that. Well, I'm, by that I meant a 13-year-old doesn't know much, and I was no exception. Then you supported it. And there is where you give your memory or your details, and then you conclude it by all referring back to the topic sentence. And then we went over the formula for the conclusion paragraph, which consists of two parts restating the thesis in different words, and then ending with one, one to two sentences telling about why that thesis is important. <laughs>